Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to take portrait photos or bouquet photos on your Android devices. Speaking of which, the devices are those which are not built in with this capability. Not to mention Google Pixel, Note 9, Huawei or other devices that are equipped with this kind of capability. So in this video tutorial, I'm using the V20, the LG V20. As you know, the LG V20 can only take normal photos and also the wide angle photos. But in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to use the normal camera to take bokeh photos right from your Android devices. Before getting started, let me show you the photos I took using my V20 and the LG V30. Okay, so please enjoy. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Okay, so what do you think after seeing all of those photos? Aren't they wonderful? The photos are fantastic because these photos were taken right from my V20 and the V30. And you know what? This capability of portrait mode is even better than the iPhone X or XS. Since this portrait mode works well even in low light condition. As you can see here, this photo was taken at about 8 p.m. I was astonished by its result. Okay, so now without further delay, let's get into the work. I'm going to show you guys how it is done. First of all, what you need to do is to download the Google Camera app. And at the end of these, I'm going to show you guys how to download the right app for the right smartphone otherwise it's not going to work okay so after you get the app just launch the app for the first time that you launch the app you can see this the features is very simple okay and then do not take a photo yet if it is your first time please go to the setting by clicking on the menu bar up there not quite sure if you guys can see it clearly and then go to the setting okay and I will walk you through the setting so please pay attention to that okay so now we are on the settings and you need to take a look at the photo section okay back camera photo resolutions make sure that you choose the maximum one okay so mine is 16.3 megapixels so click on the top one and the same thing go to front camera's photo resolution please click the top one next thing is the advanced first of all is the DHR plus control make sure that it is on and then the image quality by default it is 
95%. So my recommendation is to go for 100% for your image clarity and sharpness. Next is very important, the models. What you have to select is the Nexus 6, okay? This is a very important step. Otherwise, it's not going to work. However, if Nexus 6 is not working right on your smartphone, you can try auto setting, okay? But please go to Nexus 6 first before you go to the other option. And if you scroll down, you can see DHR plus enhanced. The LG G6 color fix. Remove purple in low light with HDR plus enhanced. Make sure that this option is on. Although the title is LG G6, but for sure it works for all devices. Okay? And the other options, just leave them there. Okay, so that's it for the setting. Now we are ready to go. Okay, so now I'm on the camera. What you have to do next is to go to the uh, setting icon and choose the portrait. Okay, now I'm on the portrait mode. Let me try to take my Canon. Let's see what's the quality like. Make sure you tap on the subject that you want to focus on. Okay. Yeah, as you can see in these, I'm trying to focus on different angles. And let's check the quality. You can see that it's very clear and sharp. Okay. And the background of this photo is a bit blurry. Just to let you guys know, I'm taking this photo at 11.48 p.m. As you can see on the screen of my mobile phone up there. Okay, so the light is not so good in my room, but look at this quality. Look at the quality of this photo. It's awesome, guys. Yes, it's very awesome. Okay, so now it's time to get into how to get the right app for the right smartphone okay so you have to be careful with downloading the apps okay now let's get started okay guys so now I'm on my iMac as you can see this is the iMac desktop and you can do this on your smartphone I just want to show you a quick uh, demo so I'm using the iMac Okay, so what you need to do is to go to the website of the XDown developers. I will leave the link in the description so that it's easier for you to uh, click on the link and you can go to this page. And then here, what are you looking for? Type the Google. So you can see devices. So there's a, uh, some suggestion of the devices. So let's not take a look at this sections. Don't care about this, but best threats. Look at this. This is the modded Google camera with the HDR 60 uh, frame per second video in slow motion. And it works for one plus three. Okay, so it's not for your mobile phone. If it is not, keep looking. One plus, this is for one plus. Google camera mode with wide angle support version 4 and it is supported with the G5, G6 and V20 and it's also work best with the V30. Okay, so without wasting the time, just keep writing what you are looking for like LT. So you will see most of the uh, topics are all about LG see this LG stylo 3 plus LG G5 SC LG G7 and a lot more you can click next 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 or Samsung if you are using Samsung search for Samsung this is the Galaxy S4 Google Edition camera a6 and a6 plus okay Galaxy a6 plus s4 J6 
if you don't find your own device i suggest that you can try the uh, apps from different devices five or six apps to see which one work well on your smartphone when you click on the thread you are linked to this page google camera modes how to install and it's very important if you don't read it it's not going to work sometime download so click to show content you can read more information regarding the app after reading this you can start downloading right away okay after you download you can send this to your uh, smartphone or if you are downloading directly from the smartphone you can install it right away okay so it should be all guys so thank you very much for spending so much time watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next video.